Um, map count is pretty fun actually. It's, it challenges you to do things that you never thought you could do. And it also helps with teamwork on the team competitions. So it, it's pretty cool. Also, the competitions give you a chance to meet new people. And it's pretty cool. Three. Three is the correct answer. Colin? 60 degrees. 60 degrees is the correct answer. I was guessing. Math <laughs> <laughs> counts to me is a fun thing, competition, but it's a friendly competition. And the good thing is, you know, you can start earlier so you can come back each year usually. I can't because it's eighth grade. But usually, as a general rule, um, you can. It's a good thing. It helps you learn math, which we use in the world so much today. Coming in second place, someone that I think I will see in future years from Spain, Dalham Middle <gasps> School, is Christopher. <laughs> I'm really happy about how I did today. Because as soon as they announced me getting second place, the first thing that went into my head was, wow, are they, are they serious? And well, now I get to go to the big math counts competition in Orlando, and I also get to go to Disney World. So it'll be fun. I have a theory about square roots. I know, the most awkward transitional. I know. Anyway, um, so I've noticed that if you take a number, say 4 for instance and you square it 16 then you add its square root which is 4 as we just discussed and then you add its square root plus 1 again and so that would be 16 plus its square root which is 4 which is 20 and then plus 4 plus 1 which is 5 and it's 25 and the square root of that is 5 which is the next number in the sequence and you can keep doing it 5, you know, times um, 5 is 25, plus 5 is 30, plus 6 is 36, and the square root of that is 36. And you can literally keep on doing this, um, you know, to infinity.